Growing up, I, I wouldn't have a babysitter. I'd just go to work with my dad. So I was always painting. I always had a brush in my hand. And I remember coming home from work in LA, I would see all these murals in Los Angeles. And you know, we never had anything like that in Pacoima. Pacoima was known for gang violence. It was known for high school dropout rates. It was known for everything that you wouldn't want your home to be known for. So I figured, let's paint a mural. You know, my dad was a muralist and painted murals and I always wanted to do one. So I figured I should do it where it needed it the most. I was a warrior for the arts. I was fighting for the arts because it was illegal to paint large imagery on the sides of buildings. I didn't care. I thought that, you know, fixing my neighborhood was something that I could do one wall at a time and that I didn't need permission. I never had any kind of repercussions. I never had anything except love and praise and support and more volunteers. The kids, they look up to him and they see that you can do more than just write on walls. You can actually express yourself with beautiful paintings and beautiful murals like he does. And he invites these kids to do it with him. And that's, that's something that is just beautiful to see. I feel like he's helped me in my life in general, not just in the drawing part, not just, you know, and, and staying focused, but just help me, help my life, you know, just help me kind of just set my head straight and uh, know what I really want. He is my mentor and, 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 and more like a brother, you know. I always considered myself a social artist, that I do more than just paint on walls. I'm, I'm like the conductor in an orchestra, you know. Yeah, we're producing beautiful music and, and I'm leading it, but I'm not the one playing the music, you know what I mean? It's, it's, the, it's the band, it's everybody else. Everybody that you see here, they're the ones painting the mural. My palette doesn't just consist of colors, my palette consists of people, it consists of businesses, it consists of tools and paint, obviously, of walls, it consists of all these different things that I take and put together to create something beautiful. When, when I started, I didn't want to change the world, I didn't want to do anything, I just wanted to make my street better, you know? And, and you know, I guess the street's long, so we just kept going. We ended up changing the face of Pacoima and changing what people thought of it when they heard the name. Growing up, I had to take a bus. I had to take the public bus to school, you know, for two hours every day. And I get really emotional thinking about it because I had to leave my home to find art and find these opportunities. And um, to be able to provide that for people now, <laughs> there's just no better feeling, you know?